In this video, we'll talk about the danger of refusing to forgive. There are always going to be penalties of not being able to forgive. Let me give you an example. The poison of unforgiveness. Claire was once cheated on by her husband. She went forward in her life, and because she held on to the anger, she took it into future relationships that could have worked out well for her. Before men were able to prove their love for her, her anger made her act in a way that actually drove them away. You imprison your heart when you cannot forgive. Claire found herself going through the pockets of her partner. She found herself looking for problems even if there were none because she was unable to accept that people could be good to her. By doing so, she diminished herself and made herself less valuable as a partner. Annie, on the other hand, looked at the situation from a different stance. She loved her husband and accepted, after the initial pain, that she had contributed in some way towards the breakdown of her marriage. Instead of being bitter, she used her experience to learn how to become a better person in the future. She was able to free herself from all the negative connotations that are attached to blame. By using the negative experiences to help her to grow emotionally. The imprisonment of unforgiveness. When you cannot forgive, you imprison yourself. Rather than the person you cannot forgive, you suffer from anger, hate, negativity, lack of trust, and all the things that make you less of a person. Even if you've had someone wrong you unjustly, if you can let go of all these feelings, you become stronger without becoming hardened to life. You retain your innocence and learn that your method of dealing with negative emotions serves you in a much more positive way. If someone wronged you, don't let their wrong become yours. Let go and move on on. Did you know that it's easier to succumb to addiction when you cannot forgive? You hide behind antidepressants or maybe you turn to alcohol because it takes you out of that uncomfortable space you created for yourself. Those who are not compassionate see anger and resentment as a normal state of mind. The strange thing is, when you manage to let go of it, you change on the outside as well as the inside. You'll look happier and attract happier people into your life. The feeling that you have in your heart reflects on the outside and shows you how to be a compassionate and empathetic person, thus making you a better person. Hold on to the addictions that you use as a bolster against being hurt again, and you create even more tension in your life and have more things to forgive or be forgiven for. It's a vicious circle, and a glass of your favorite brew won't help you long-term to change something within yourself that is fundamentally flawed. When you learn to forgive, you heal yourself from that damage. The body of a human being is composed of energy. You must have felt that energy when you're in the company of people who are angry. The ideal scenario is to get as far away from that anger as you can. When you cannot forgive, you give off this negative energy and people around you will avoid you because of it. Even though you may have been the victim to something that you didn't even ask for, your victim status goes into overdrive when you cannot move on and forgive. To apologize is a sign of strength, not weakness. One of the main reasons that people hold out for an apology is that they feel it vilifies the bad action on the part of the offender. The apology is the acknowledgement of wrongdoing. However, quite often in our lives, we see things that others don't see. Ian explains this very well when he talks about his father. Ian felt most of his life that he didn't live up to the expectations of his father. The anger that he carried with him went on for years. During the years of growing up, Ian wanted his father to apologize for all the things he had put Ian through as a child. The fact was that Ian's father wasn't even aware that he had done anything wrong. The fact is that people don't always realize their sins. 
Ian had built up this anger towards his father that was unreasonable. And here's the irony. When Ian himself became a father, he realized that he was doing the exact same thing to his son. It wasn't ill treatment at all. These actions were taken out of care for his son. When he managed to get all of this into perspective and let go of his bitterness, he managed to forgive his father and attempt to make the relationship a much stronger one. When you can't forgive, you make your own life a misery, and much of the time, those who wronged you are quite happily going about their lives blissfully unaware of all the negative thoughts you have in your mind. That's why it's so important to voice out and let go. Try it today. Call someone who you have lost contact with simply because you could not forgive them. Make sure to focus on the conversation around them, not you. You will begin to see that life isn't one-dimensional. If you have problems with this exercise, then I would suggest that you practice meditation because it will help you to let go of all the negative feelings you feel towards life and see things from a different perspective you will become less introspective and will be able to accept comments from others without laying judgment upon them. That helps you to be able to embrace compassion in a way that you may not have been able to do before. When you do, your whole life changes for the better. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.